group winner. Won't be doing Ronnie O'Sullivan any favours, I shouldn't think. O'Sullivan will have direct interest in all three matches in this session. The two he's playing in, and that middle one topped the group at the end of it, having lost his first match 3-0. That gentleman was Stuart Bingham. And he's in finals day in a couple of days' time. Having we do lose initial match 3-0, as Ronnie O'Sullivan did, of course. Need a lot of help. Opponent here, Pang. Well, he's pretty much double that. His average shot time at the moment is 26.29 seconds per shot. That's reasonably pedestrian. He's certainly very good technically. That's one thing I'll say about himself. Doesn't play too many power shots or forcing shots that can go astray. What a clever operator. One. Still be very costly with the pink in open plate. spoke earlier about Xiao Xing Tong, the prodigious talent that he has. Ronnie O'Sullivan then. Yes, he has a tremendous warm relationship with the, the Chinese continent, both personally and professionally. And that's why this is a big deal for Pang. It's his first ever meeting with the great man. Xiao Xintong did come to prominence, of course, winning the prestigious UK Championships. Great event to win, of course, as your first major, but back that up with some very, very good performances since then, of course. The players, when they win their first major, can struggle. Hammered with their achievements. Of course, Five minutes or so ago, these Reds are in wonderful positions. Just look at them now. It's a dreadful frame, it really is. I think both these players would love to start this one again. But Pang has unlimited patience. We've seen it so often over the last couple of seasons. Surely hasn't left a gap through to a red here, has he? And he did do. It's a bit of a mistake from Pang. He ought to have covered everything there, but didn't. One. Ronnie's been very unfortunate. How on earth has that cue ball come to rest there? Sullivan won. That had to be played perfectly, and my goodness, it was. Appreciated by Ronnie. Look at this, tight to the bolt cushion. And where he was, that was quite some achievement. Has he left a red over the corner pocket? He has, and that's a little unfortunate. That gap for Ronnie. This time what? has managed to get some sort of a position on a colour. Brown, though. They can go astray. Bye. Certainly in a frame like this. It's become... Oh, he's in off. Foul. Well... Right, because of the five. angle he had on the red, Thank he had you, to you. use the pink to screw back off, hopefully from his point of view. For One. 
wanted the cue ball to run and on this occasion it did not mind you nestling in behind the yellow could be useful yellow ball thank you Pang Jinju one I thought that Pang in pot in the red on the problem. This is looking good. The pace is sufficient. It's not quite good effort. Foul, the miss. Found a way Pang to get to this red that's just below the black. It's the ideal red to rest upon. If he does make contact with it, may leave a red that's possible to the right centre, but. I think that's about as good as Ronnie can do. Ronnie. Thank you. Thank you. Foul and a miss. He's one of those players, Dominic. He doesn't look a great stylist, does he? But he gets... He looks to me, Phil, like one of those players that places a great deal of emphasis on his technique. Six. Earlier this year, we get to the last 16 of the European Masters, he defeated Neil Robertson. So I was just about to say, to get to four <coughs> last 16s of ranking events, you must be doing something right, and you must certainly have a great deal of skill and expertise. Really, he does have that. 13. It takes years to learn the game properly in terms of break building and finding the right shot to play at the right time. He still is learning. On one of his earlier matches, and felt break building wise, there was a couple of shots he should have played earlier on than he did. And so, uh, Pang Jinju, 19. Wow, I miss. When it was seven six. Oh, clearly that went completely wrong. Money into the table, still twenty one points behind here. We could do with bringing multiple reds into play as soon as he can do. So, one. It could be that he tries to bring the two reds into play that are on that right-hand side cushion and leave this red that's over the left corner, or right corner, I beg your pardon. Failing that, he could pot it here and screw into the two reds and develop them, expecting to be on pink or black Seven. into the left corner. That's probably what Ronnie will do, I expect. Oh, he tried to play the cannon but missed them entirely. Eight. Disappointed there, Ronnie. If he's on the yellow with a good angle, he's been very fortunate. Well, oh, the perfect angle. Still hasn't finished nicely on a red. Ten. One. 
just needed to pot the red a little thinner than he did. But this is the sort of frame that Ronnie is likely to win in the end against somebody less experienced. Just because of Ronnie's knowledge of the game itself and the shot choices that need to be made in situations like this. The remaining reds are tight and on cushions. Oh, wasn't that beautifully executed? Exquisite line and length. Nothing spectacular in the second frame from Zhao Zintong. Have a shot if he's hidden the red near the right corner by the pink. Good key ball from Ronnie, but it wouldn't surprise me if he attempted to play that red into one of the other red's on this top cushion. Bent it from going over the corner the way it has done. Plays look likely. But the cue ball can on a secondary red there. That's a big mistake. nearest the middle pocket yes it's very close to that pocket but you need to be quite close in to knock it in with confidence yes and in order to get on a color from it dropping Eight. it in dead weight I'd rather have the cable quite close to the cushion I wonder if Ronnie Nine. will play here to Leave the keyboard against that side cushion, so in potting the red, getting on the brown shouldn't be a problem. Is that a touch pacey? How oh, easy 50. is this red, and what pace can he play it at? Oh, he was okay in the end. 60. So, four points the lead. I'm mistaken, he's going to need the slightly tricky blue, not only the green. 20. Brown and blue afterwards as well to win this frame from here. Oh, that was a little careless, wasn't it? Where's it going to finish? Right over the pocket, I think. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 20. Straightforward, he needs to be straight as possible on the brown. Get nicely on the blue. Bye. He's played that really well. That's need just. What I will say though, for a left hander, the blue is not on the the best side of the table. Nine. That's why didn't try and get in behind it to put it to the green pocket. He dislodged it. Perfect. 
blue and pink needed. Who would have thought? And to do so, having lost the opener, he must win the next three. As for Zhao Zintong, we told you he was 2 0 up on Gary Wilson. It remains thus. I've just looked at the table. If Zhao were to win the next frame to complete a 3 0 victory, he would be safe and secure as the table topper, regardless of what happens from here on in. Superb. What? Now, we did see him look a few moments ago to see if this black would pot. It must be very tight, and if it is very tight, I'd prefer to be much straighter on it than he is. It could be very difficult if this black is only just going past that red. Managed it, well played. Eight. Nine. Two Chinese players simultaneously in the balls. I can tell you, Zhao Zintong on table two, going nicely. Yesterday, we saw Stuart Bingham win a group with a match to spare. Zhao, 16. just a handful of pots away from replicating that. highest career break to date is one of 144 that's impressive enough I might be trying to eclipse it here steady on Dom I think he'd be more than content with an 80 at the moment 70. but I know what you're saying it's a good chance Zhao Zintong, what a player. And we are uh, grateful to have his presence on finals day. He's there. With this victory, he's got six points. Now, 24. Gary Wilson and or Mark Allen could get to six points. But they can't beat him on frame difference or on the head-to-head. -head. 25. He's got to screw into the reds for me here. If he can arc the cue ball just past the red that's directly above the black into the reds that way, they should fan out really nicely. But I didn't expect him to play that shot because he's refused that type of shot on me. 32. A few frames that I have commentated on him. Still keen to retain 33. black ball position.
41. Oh, the sixth black coming up. Forty-eight. Himself a little bit to do here. Been potting this red. He can still get back onto the black. Red should open nicely. Forty-nine. Yes, sir. This could be something special, so I'll keep this brief. Zhao Zintong did beat Gary Wilson 3 0 with breaks of 123 and to clinch 101. Sixty-four. Sixty-five. Whenever you attempt a one-four-seven break, you want to play for a choice of reds. Pang cleverly. Playing the screw shot there to leave him a choice of, well, there are four reds which he can get 72. back to the black from. That's perfect. 73. Sure, he's beginning to feel the pressure of this situation. He's got nothing in mind at set to 147 attempt here. Earlier today, Zhao Zintong, his highest break in professional competition was 144, same as this. And he took a blue and made a 145. 5 But Pang has eyes only for the black. Previous positional shot went slightly astray. That was a reasonable recovery. But you can only really play this with top spin. So the angle of the cue ball will just have to take care of itself somewhat. 80. His highest break in pro competition was made this year in 80. the World Championship qualifiers. Is it going to be eclipsed? Eighty-nine. Ronnie O'Sullivan has been the architect of a record fifteen one four sevens. Not been in the chair for many. Oh, is he a little straight on the black? If he is, he'll have to screw back off the side cushion. Play for the red to the right of the pink, into the same pocket. 90. Needs to be as straight as possible, needs to avoid the cannon. Well, it's gone wrong. 
It's gone wrong, but he could still gone double the red into the left centre. Far too wide. What a pity. But a great break is to gain a draw, and that is not sufficient. No Sullivan. Played it quite nicely. One. Eight. I was just thinking, you know, he makes so many 147s in exhibitions, 16. the length and breadth of the country. He's made some recently. Seven. This might be the perfect environment to add to his total. No great pressure. I was thinking along the same lines, Phil. I was just about to say, actually, previously, 24. it would be ironic if Ronnie were to knock in. A 147 after Pang's failed attempt 20. in the last frame, but a lot will depend on this next pack opener from Ronnie. I think he's been sensible. No point in going for 38. low probabilities. Could still finish in second 39. place in the group. If he salvages a draw here and then beats Ali Carter last time out. Yes, of course, this is a ranking event, so... 47. Higher up the table, Ronnie can finish. The more ranking points he'll amass will be added to season total. Yes, even if 54. he gets a draw against Pang and then beats Carter, as 55. I said, he would then still need for Yuan Sejun to beat Pang in the match that's coming up next. That's to finish second, of course. All thoughts of 61. topping the group are now well and truly out of the window. 62. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. Must have played that absolutely beautifully, Ronnie. Can play into the three reds now from the pink without having to play it with a lot of pace, but may well have gone wrong. Frame is 74. safe though. Seventy-four. Frame conceded. Frame. Running Pang also. looked at the scoreboard, realised that he a victory in this frame, and thoughts of being in finals day on Friday would be at the forefront of his mind.
By the way, if you're wondering, no more Chinese Eight. players can qualify tomorrow. Nine. Group B is Luca Brussel. That's where a nice straight cue action. 16. Oh, what an effort 17. that was to just the screw back from the pink. Now, the first time you mooted that, Dom, I told you to steady 24. up. Here, I'm going to be a little more reticent and say, maybe, maybe. Twenty-five. Oh, I think he's been 32. fortunate there. What a lovely little cannon to the red. Straight enough on it to run through for the black. Seems smiling. He realises how fortunate he's been there. Forty-one. He is the real deal, this lad. He's a, a really good match player who can only improve as the season goes on. 53rd in the world rankings now. My book bound to improve. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Bottom red of the four. Should be his next target here, I feel. Just off straight in potting it. He may be able to 56. nudge the other three above it into play, but maybe dead straight on this red. Now the break becomes a little more difficult. The reds are spread far and wide and it's the correct angle on each and every one of them to be able to attain position on the black. Picking the right shot to play. Vital importance here. Sixty-four. Sixty-five. The one thing about Tang, he won't be scared of the situation. But he's hit that badly. Yeah, not happy. Seventy-two. Just not enough stun on the cue ball. Did to rebound squarely off the top cushion. It just wasn't able, just able to slide a little. Leave himself the wrong angle on the red. You can still pot it and take the cue ball in and out of bulk, but frame isn't won yet. 72 ahead, 75 still remain. 
And let's not forget, this is his first meeting with O'Sullivan. A victory over the world champion. Nothing to to waste. Look at this, Dom. Come on now, White. Keep Get some going. legs. Yeah, keep going, 73. keep going. Oh, it's a foot short. Wow, what do you do here, Phil? The frame's safe, barring snookers. I don't think Ronnie will carry on. Do you take the black on? Well, it's thinner than thin. And, of course, when you're hitting it like this, just shaving the black, the cue ball could go anywhere. He's got no control over that. Oh, overcut the black, would you believe? Over